We are doing our presentation on bronchitis. I'm now going to explain the normal physiology of the respiratory system. In the normal physiology of the respiratory system, air enters the nasal cavity through the pharynx, larynx, and trachea, which then splits into the left and right primary bronchus. They branch and keep branching into smaller and smaller areas called the bronchial tree, and when they reach less than one millimeter in diameter, they are called bronchioles. Next is the alveoli, where the gas exchange occurs. Lumen of the bronchioles consists of pseudo-stratified columnar epithelium, and the cilia and goblet cells for mucus secretion. It, is also, it also contains a connective tissue layer. Cartilage disappears as the bronchi divide. Smooth muscle increases as division goes further. The lumen is normally open and lightly lined with mucus, allowing for debris and particles to be trapped and removed. There are two different kinds of bronchitis to be aware of. For this presentation, we will focus on acute. Acute bronchitis is very common, typically clearing up within a week to 10 days, without lasting effects. The cough may linger for weeks afterwards. In chronic bronchitis, it is a constant irritation or inflammation of the lining of the bronchial tubes, often due to smoking and is more serious than acute bronchitis. Repeated episodes of acute bronchitis may lead to chronic bronchitis, and medical attention would be required. Chronic bronchitis is classified under chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, otherwise known as COPD. Can you tell me some of your symptoms? What yeah. brings you in to see me? Well, I've, I've got this really, really bad runny nose. I've had it for a couple weeks now, and just one sec. <coughs> I'm starting to wheeze all the time, and I'm coughing up like yellow and green mucus. It's really gross. Okay. Just one sec. Oh, the cough really, really hurts my ribs. I'm just yeah. feeling really run down, and I think I may have a fever. Okay, I'm just going to have a listen to your lungs okay. here, okay? We're now going to discuss the risk factors and causes associated with acute bronchitis. So the risk factors associated with acute bronchitis are you smoke or live with the smoker, you have a low resistance to disease, such as you are an infant or elderly, or have an immune disorder. You have frequent respiratory infections, you have acid reflux, you are exposed to lung irritants on the job, or you are exposed to air pollution. Further risk factors are close contact with somebody that has a cold or acute bronchitis and failure to get um, age-appropriate immunizations would also put you at risk. Sorry to hear you're feeling so unwell. Thanks. I'm just gonna ask you a few more questions so I can assess the risk factors of what I think might be acute bronchitis. Okay. All right, so do you smoke? I do, I smoke a pack a day. Okay, that's yeah. probably gonna make it a lot worse. Yeah. Uh, do you work in an environment with lots of pollutants? Well, um, I do work in a coal mine. Okay, that's also <coughs> another big risk factor for your health right now. Um, do you have up-to-date immunizations? I don't believe in those immunizations. Okay, that's another thing that could really help you out is if you got those done, especially the flu shot. Yeah. We will now be discussing the pathophysiology of acute bronchitis. When irritants enter the bronchioles, there is an overproduction of mucus, which clogs and narrows the lumen. Irritants trigger mast cells to release histamine, which cause the inflammation of the bronchioles. Goblet cells produce mucus and increase in number due to hyperplasia. Cilia that line the bronchioles decrease in number and in size, caused by destruction from irritants such as smoking. The bronchioles are now occupied by bacteria and debris that the body finds hard to expel. This is in turn causing smooth muscle spasms in attempt to rid the sticky mucus, often presenting as a barking cough. The constant irritation produces more mucus that collects in the alveoli and causes them to collapse. This irritation causes hypertrophy of the smooth muscle. Gas exchange is impaired and an imbalance in the respiratory homeostasis occurs. Excess amounts of CO2 are retained in the intra-alveoli space and hydrogen ions accumulate in the alveoli leading to decreased pH levels. This makes the blood more acidic which is called respiratory acidosis. Since the bronchioles are blocked, Oxygen cannot travel to the alveoli and diffuse into the bloodstream. We will now be focusing on the treatments for bronchitis. Acute bronchitis is very common and it usually clears up on its own. You must avoid cigarette smoking as well as it is advised to get your influenza vaccine. 
You might have a chest x-ray performed to confirm diagnosis and rule out any other diseases. You may have your sputum cultured to see if you have a bacterial infection to see if you need antibiotics, but most cases are usually just caused by a viral infection where antibiotics will not be effective. You might be required to use a cough suppressant to help you sleep at night, as well as an inhaler to help with inflamed bronchioles. Some self-care remedies include avoiding these irritants and using a humidifier. In summary, acute bronchitis can be spread by close contact with others infected. Acute bronchitis affects the alveoli and lumen of the bronchioles. It can clear up on its own, Typically, antibiotics are not useful unless it is a bacterial infection. Bronchitis leads to excess mucus secretions in the lungs which cause its typical barking cough. It is advised to stay away from irritants such as smoke and environmental factors. Thanks a lot, Doc. I won't be needing these anymore. I'm done with this.